a yoga experience that was a little bit disturbing because this was a new teacher for me and he's one of the most acclaimed teachers in the world. He's kind of a, he's kind of an actual guru. And I was finding a little bit hard to follow because he just wasn't giving directions or, you know, instructions on a lot of things. And because I'm not in a class that it's on Zoom, I can't see what other people are doing because usually, you know, you just follow them. But you really kind of need to know the sequence that the teacher is doing on Zoom, if, especially if he doesn't give you a lot of instructions. This happens a lot, you know, when teachers, they obviously, they have their own group of students that follow them and it's not the best thing to join halfway in one of their classes when it's online. It's not the most respectful thing to do either. But on the other hand, I really wanted to go to his class. I obviously can't go in person, so you know, I did it. It was a good experience. It's just there were some things that there was a lot of binding and I'm okay with binding as long as I don't have to be balancing at the same time or like spreading my legs at the same time. I can't do any of that. I can't. It's my birthday today, by the way. It's a very strange birthday because, you know, middle of lockdown, I'm going to do a Zoom conference, which, you know, at the beginning when people started doing Zoom birthday parties, I was like, wow, that's such a loser move. But honestly, after being alone for three months or something, I just think that I just have to do something because I always celebrate my birthday. I thought I would be able to celebrate it by now, but I'm not in London, so I can't because I'm not with my friends. So I just need to do something to kind of acknowledge that it happens because I like celebrating birthdays and I got myself some flowers which didn't arrive on time and I got myself a cake which I will show you in a minute. I'm having my vitamin C. I've been having this vitamin C. I really like it because it tastes a bit like a vanilla orange milk. So it makes all the difference to have a vitamin that you like taking because all the other stuff I just don't take because I just don't like it. By the way, if you think that this looks strange, yes, it does. So what I've been doing, remember that I'm doing the no heat thing on my hair? I haven't used heat on my hair. I've really progressed in two years now and it has completely changed my hair, the texture of my hair. You know, I used to have definitely frizzy hair and now this is air dried i mean it's insane and you would have to see it now i'm just on yoga so it's a little bit frizzy but i need to make a video about it actually because there's just so many qualities that has it just makes everything so much easier yeah so basically i've been doing the no heat thing also on my fringe but then the trick with this thing is oops sorry you have to you have to keep it pinned if your hair is at all curly you have to pin it back for it to dry straight so i pin back my fringe for about two hours which is the amount of time it takes and i have a huge cowlick naturally here and as you can see I mean, it works so beautifully. I almost, I can't believe it. I mean, I have such a frizzy hairline and such a big cowlick in both sides, especially on this one. And just by pinning it and letting it dry naturally and just never using heat on it, it's beautiful and it stays like this. Even if, even if it rains or even if you do sport, which is something that when you air dry your hair, you just can't keep it. You just can't keep the style. Whether when you do this and you have trained your hair previously to be okay with, you know, to not have heat on it, then it's healthy enough to kind of bounce back. Even if like in a minute, my hair will be fine again. In like an hour after I've been sweating and stuff, it will be back to its nice texture that I have now. So here's my my beautiful birthday cake all for myself and i made it a star because the star is for my grandma and i personally decorated it with strawberries and rock cacao
Look at that birthday productivity. I made my bed. By the way, Ibiza's serenity is so real. The girl that brought me the cake, I was meant to pay her by card on delivery. And she was like, oh, I forgot my card machine. Just pay me later by bank. So she left the cake here. Everybody is like that. The guys at the supermarket too. I haven't paid them this last week either. They just totally trust you. Whenever they have any payment problems, they just give you the stuff in advance and then you pay them back. This birthday is not going well. <laughs> I've been basically crying all day because every time I get something from someone. And they brought a cake and it has my grandma's star, so then I cried for my grandma and now I'm gonna cry for my mom. Insane, I mean the amount of flowers in here. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. The lag is fantastic. Happy birthday, Diana. Happy birthday, Diana. Woo! Thank you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the moment we were all waiting for. <laughs> wow, that yeah. definitely needs a remix. So heads up, if you haven't used Zoom for your birthdays, it's a real pain in the ass. The whole thing didn't work. The links, I had to send them a thousand times for people. Some people couldn't get here. It was really nice at the end of the day because I had, you know, all my team of friends or a lot of them came. But maybe do a test before you try to do it with people. Some great stuff on TV tonight. So tired from my birthday Zoom. I've changed and I'm going to take some cake to my neighbor. Oh, it was so nice to have everybody. Honestly, even though it's online, you really can feel people. It's almost, I think we've discovered during this whole epidemic, the power of being together even when we're not together. It allowed me to have people from all over the world in my party. God, here we go. It's sounding, sounding really good, actually. Let's see if I can let you listen. Through my headphones. <laughs> 